So buckle up your seats and get ready for our whirlwind tour of the key pressing API issues. First up is a focus on healthcare for all. Vivian Matsushige, a panel member, will serve as the lead and share her experiences as a health consumer. She will be followed by two very special guests, Congresswoman Judy Chu and Dr. Paul Song of Healthy California, which will be an amazing opportunity to find out the latest updates in the struggle for Medicare for All, both at the federal and California state level. Let's give a welcome to Vivian. social worker. I work for the County Department of Mental Health for uh, 30 plus years and retired in 2012. Uh, but in 2003, I was on a vacation in Telluride, Colorado, where I was involved in a skiing accident, uh, which resulted in uh, a spinal cord injury, T3, T4 complete. And I think Dr. Song is the only one who understand what that means which means that I'm paralyzed from my chest down. I don't feel anything and I can't move. Um, I went to the Craig Hospital on a Learjet and uh, spent time there in rehabilitation as a paraplegic. And um, one of the things that, uh, well, the psychological trauma of it all, imagine turning your whole life upside down I was in fear every day, fear of the future, and wondering what was going to happen next and how I would survive when I came home. In that, it took me two years at least to get to a, a point where I felt normal, or normal under the new circumstances. And during that time, one of the things that preoccupied my thinking all the time was getting back to work so that I could maintain uh, income because I was I'm alone not married no family and my health insurance and so what I had to do uh, in order to get I always say that health insurance is great if you don't have to use it but once you start needing it it's a struggle it's a constant fight being on the phone arguing with uh, people who are typically are there to deny whatever services you are recommended to get. And for me, the, all of those services are in durable medical uh, products. Uh, this chair, for example, if you were here in January, you may have heard uh, my story about my chair. Long story short, it took me a whole year to get the chair approved. And then a year later, I got a call from the provider asking for help so that Cigna would pay for the chair, pay them for the work they had done. And the chair uh, cost, if you look into uh, uh, what do you call the the, the cost, is twenty four thousand dollars for this chair, more or less. But really, nobody knows because it's all specialized. And then when it came down to it, the insurance company paid the provider thirteen thousand dollars for it. Now, nobody really knows what costs are, but. As you all, how many people are already in favor of Medicare, single-payer Medicare? How many people need to be convinced? <laughs> the other, oh, I don't know, and then a lot of people are still shy. But that's okay. So I have a bunch of slides up here. I, I don't really need them. Maybe Dr. Song can use them. But all I have to say is that um, costs for Medicare, medical care is going up. When I was even working, uh, I had to pay a share of costs for my health insurance. And at that time, the total cost per month was $977. County paid in part of it, and I paid in part of it. Now I'm retired, and I supposedly have the best benefits because I have Plan A. And now uh, employees that are applying to the department are getting Plan G. And I don't know how much a reduction that is. But even with Plan A, I called uh, my retirement, Lacera, and asked them, how much are you paying for uh, my insurance? And they said, 1,100 and some change, change, excuse me. And I pay also 200 and 
odd dollars to Medicare for my Medicare portion. So monthly that comes to, um, oh, before we were paying $11,000 a month, a year, for my health insurance. But now between myself and the county, I'm paying $16,000. Now, I'm a single person. I can't imagine what it would be like for a family of four. The just health insurance alone is astronomical. So that's why, among other things, I am a proponent for Medicare for All. Red flag, I gotta go. And besides that, I'm sure you you would much want to hear more from Dr. Song and Judy Chu. Thank you.